I don't think there's going to be a Christmas star this year. It's overcast, starting to snow. You can't see a thing. Mm. Even if you can't see the Christmas star, it's still there. Is it? How can you be so sure? John. Mm. Hey, Linda. Oh, can, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Then stay right on the roof. Can you put that one up there near the top? Ooh, vertically challenged. Ow. <laughs> Amanda. Okay. Hey, Jonathan, you want some eggnog cider? No. Thank you. You guys ready for Secret Santa? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> so, what's your secret? Wow, nice. Mr. Hat. <laughs> I thought you'd never notice. At least it's better than the ones you got us at the bar. <laughs> How did you get along with Caesar? Where's my dad? Dad doesn't know about any gift. How do you? It's Christmas. Time for giving. Do you mean our little girl? I do. Oh, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that Dad had been talking to a priest about his problem. So I guess you've heard everything. Uh, people tend to forget conversations they have with me. Well, I'm sure Dad wouldn't forget. You know, she's lost. Her daughter's not lost. Well, then where is she? She's where God wants her to be. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do the God's will stuff right now. I know that there is a reason for everything. It's just this doesn't make sense. My child should be with me. She should be with Tad. I think God made a big mistake. People make mistakes. But we have free will to decide what path we want to pursue, what path we choose to pursue. What about when other people choose for you? The strength of a person's character is not measured by what happens to him, but rather by what he chooses to do with it. I know you're right that people people do make mistakes i know i've made horrible mistakes so is dad you're human but god has also given us the gift of forgiveness and of mercy i feel like our mistakes cost us our child yet you are bound together by love and grace well i can't give dad his little girl back but this Christmas, I, I, I think that I could give him something that might, might make it somehow better, might heal the, the pain that's been caused by her loss. You can't substitute one child for another. What did you say? The gift that will make Tad so happy. It's a child on the way, isn't it? How do you know that? Will that news make other people happy? Do you really think Dixie would be destructive enough to tell Adam what she saw? She won't think of it as destructive. She'll just think it's the right thing to do. Yeah, for Tad, maybe. Well, can you blame her? I can't. As much as I adore Adam, I mean, there are nights that I lie there awake thinking that I just have to tell both those men the truth. He seems so sure about keeping it a secret. Does loving Adam give me the right to keep a parent from his child? Or to save Adam for the rest of his life? Or will loving Adam keep me from choking on that lie down the pike? I am in the same spot that you were in when we were both trying to pass off Bianca's baby as yours and JR's. No, it's different. It's very different. How long will you regret your choice, huh? Every day for the rest of your life. And then some right. I'm right there with you. You know, maybe there's a greater plan at work. I have.
have a beautiful, wonderful baby daughter, and Tad lost his. What if I can give him another chance at having what I have? You remember what you told me? You said it for me not to tell JR about Josh. And I didn't listen, and look what happened. Total chaos, and JR almost died. So maybe, maybe sometimes a lie is better than the truth. And it actually worked? Yep. The feed from the clock radio cam is hooked up straight to my laptop. So, if Babe's still doing the deed with Josh, we are going to see everything. What? Every nasty deed. Where did you get this camera? Internet, Dad. You can buy anything with some imagination and a credit card. Have you seen anything? No eleven yet. But when we do get it, you can finally toss out the trash, get custody of little light, and game over. You win. I love you for trying to protect your brother, no matter how ill-advised. I want to help. I know. But I'll sneak in there and get the camera if you want me to. No, no. Just leave it. I'm trying to give Babe a second chance. Not a free pass to make a fool out of me again. Don't decide anything until we know how this Dixie thing plays out. Okay? Hey, maybe Dixie went to see Tad for another reason. Just don't tell Adam or Tad anything until we know for sure. strangers because I believed I was dying. I didn't have enough faith in you. I was afraid you couldn't love our daughter. Well, not everyone will be passing out cigars with the news of Tad's child. So you have the power to change the course of people's lives? Well, some lives may be inconvenienced. Okay, wrecked, but that's the cost of truth sometimes, isn't it? Does truth have to come at such a high cost? Am I supposed to choose to keep something so precious away from Tad? That's something I've done already. Can one person gain happiness at the expense of another person's pain? Ask me a question. Uh, can one person find happiness at the cost of another person? I mean, what do you think? That's the eternal question, my dear. People have been pondering it for centuries. And there are as many answers as there are consciences, as many answers as there are hearts. But you will find your answer, and whatever you decide will be right. Well, I've made so many bad choices, so choices that cost me my daughter. What makes you think that I'm going to choose right this time? When you made your choice about your daughter, you were alone in the world. At least you thought you were alone. You're no longer alone. Father, um, if you uh, can't tell me what to do, could you at least tell me where Tad is? Oh, Tad is looking for his answers, just like you're looking for yours. 